So what I wanted to talk about today is karma and its role in relationships and actually its role in everything that you're experiencing right now. So karma cleanup, completion, and then let's talk a little bit about this retrograde energy that we're in right now. We went into uh, retrograde, into Mercury retrograde yesterday. We will be there until November the 3rd. Um, but it's really interesting, this retrograding energy. So what I really wanted to, to give voice to is that is karma. And when we really look at what karma is, right, karma is in our perception, it's soul's agreements to come and learn and experience and exchange certain frequencies. And what we believe often is that the karma was created in other lifetimes, right? So we talk a lot about karma being created in other lifetimes. And then we come back and we have this reincarnation where we, where we play through the karma. Karma that we had created, soul karma, karma with other people. We'll say often in, in relationships that you know, we're playing out a lot of karma here, right? So the reflection is, that as we're expanding into higher frequency, the inquiry is, will the play of karma be complete? So there's agreements, soul contracts, soul agreements between people, between souls to fulfill certain opportunities, right? To gift the other certain opportunities for, for expansion and surrender and ascension. And so what we're seeing right now is a huge phase of completions. So much is completing on earth plane. So many completions. Completions of relationships. We're seeing completions of pathways, of jobs, of residencies, um, and relationships in all kinds of, of um expressions, you know, intimate relationship partnerships, but all the ways that these partnerships express. You know, friendships are coming to completions, love relationships, intimate relationships, uh, partners in business. There's so much that's coming into completion. And so what's coming through is that we're really on the karmic cleanup completion crew right now. And a lot of what we are doing is putting is, is bringing the final pieces into karmic completion. Because if we really think about where we're going, uh, from what we know, from the lens of which we can currently see through, what, what as we're stepping into fourth and, and then leaning into fifth and having expressions in all of these sequences, what we, and the other thing that's happening is that we're all popping through at different times and stabilizing those frequencies is what becomes the opportunity. Not every relationship is popping through its frequency at the same time. So what this creates is a distortion of the lens to be able to see where the, the limitation or the, the locked and loaded, where, where certain patterns, it's about patterning, where certain patterns have been holding you as limited in your earth expression, right? And this plays out in your relationships and in your commitments and in your um, agreements, so because you're moving at different frequencies and you're up and you're down and then you're observing from these different frequencies, you're getting an opportunity to see with clearer eyes what is and what is not moving in sync, right? So there's almost like they're giving me the image of a sinkhole, right, um, where the earth kind of just begins to drop. So if you're holding on one plane and the earth kind of begins to drop, but then you're simultaneously taking a stair step up, you see you can see so much from so many different layers, so many different levels. And part of the great awakening is you, you cannot be in denial anymore. So once you see with your real eyes and once you begin to realize you can't unsee, you can't unsee. So then we're left in this position of, okay, now that I'm seeing so much more clearly than I ever have before, what does that mean? So what's coming through is that it's the great karmic cleanup. 
that the karma in relationships, in souls agreements to come together, to have certain experiences, to, to heal old lifetimes or to heal old other contracts agreement, contracted agreements, it's like check done. We are complete. We are coming into completion with our karmic load, our contracted karmic debt. So when that is complete, then relationships of all spectrums get to be reviewed. So if there's not a karmic play, if a karmic play is complete, then what do we have? Then who are we now? And who are we becoming? And are we becoming the greatest version of ourselves in the here now because are, are we rising, raising up in the same frequency to become who we are um, intending to become in the, in the higher expression of our soul's truth? And does that now align? So everything is up for review. So we go into the retrograde, right? Which is the review period. It's where we look or we have the sensation of moving to that which has been, right? Retrograde is a, it feels as if a, a planet begins to move in opposition, but it actually is just that it pauses in its momentum to give us the, almost the opportunity to look at what has revolved behind right the, the what has what the revolution behind us was so we're in this retrograde it's to revisit it's to release and it is to restore to move forward so in all of your relationships and all of your commitments and all of your expressions you get to come to the finale that the karma of it is being wrapped up and now you're left sitting in what can be a very raw, authentic, raw, authentic, and open space of if we are no longer playing through karma, then what are we co-creating in this space? What are we co-creating? And what are you co-creating in all of your relationships? And this begins with the relationship with self. Right? So if you've completed many of your karmic plays, then the directives of where you're going and who you're becoming are informed differently, is what my guidance is saying. So think of this retrograde through yesterday to November the 3rd. Think of this retrograde process as being the revisit of the finale, the release, the final release of that which is complete and the full restoration. Restoration of soul's truth, restoration of your innate desire of who you stand now, karmically complete, is what I wanna say. So the, this restoration, resurrection, resurrecting the truth of who you are without this imprint of a debted kind of karmic responsibility. So what do you choose? And in the reflection of the retrograde, what are you willing to receive? What kind of wisdom are you willing to receive? What kind of new agreements, not, not karmic agreements, but new opportunities are you willing to receive knowing that the old has been complete? And how you choose to move in your relationships is no longer dependent upon the karmic play, but dependent upon choice. What do you choose in the here and now as far as your relationships to self and to external um, beings, humans, commitments, jobs, resources, familial members, loved ones, right? What are you willing to receive that is new, that is in greater alignment with where you're going as opposed to where you've been? So... The invitation is to release, it's to relax, it's to restore, and it's to come into greater receiving. Know that you are supported in all the ways. Know that you are infinite and you are light and you are the pure expression of divine love. That you are made for this, that you are divinely supported and just how incredibly, incredibly special, powerful, and potent you are. You are here for, for a reason. You are here to usher a new earth and your service is so appreciated. I love you. Have a blessed day.